da 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 Hi guys. Um, 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 how are we doing? I'm just gonna give it two minutes. Hello. Um so the plan today is to retest um strength stuff. Um yeah. Um I'm feeling better. Hi guys, feeling better than I was a uh, yesterday but I'm, I'm not thinking this is going to go particularly well <laughs> but never mind it's all good um so we're going to start with just normal warm-up and then we're going to go through the strength tests and then I'm going to do an extra little bit um to add on to the moves that we were trying to increase the strength on um and then there's bum afterwards separate because I don't think there's any bum stuff. There isn't any bum stuff in strengthening, so we can still do those. Okay, um, so I have no music on at all today um, because, of, because of the Instagram fear. Um, I think I might make this workout, still a free one, but I might make it on um, Zoom from next week so that I don't have to panic that it's gonna cancel me out halfway through. <laughs> I've got the fear that it's gonna happen again because it was this workout that it cut me out of last time. Um, so I have no music on, so if you are close by something, stick some on, otherwise it's gonna be really awkward because yeah, you never do a warm up with no music. Till now. So, da -da -da, let me tuck you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to start with my head going side to side. And then I'm going to look over the shoulders. And then I'm going to roll forward. And then I'm going to circle the shoulders back. I hope we're all full of Easter eggs. Gizmo! Move! <laughs> Sorry, I need the way. Are you doing the workout today? Dog bomb. And then we're going to go straight arms backwards. Click, 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 and forwards. And then we're gonna go open and close. So straight arms, shoulder height, open, close. And then we're gonna soften at the elbows and pinch them back like this. Doing, and then we're going to do straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, and then diagonal. This is getting ready for all those press ups that you can smash. Yeah! And then we're going to go side to side. Hopefully, you can remember what you got on the first test. I think I did 25 full press-ups, so I'm not, I'm not thinking I'm going to beat that. <laughs> Circles, <laughs> feel like I showed off too much in the first one. Should have set my expectations lower. And the other way. And hips, big circles. Ooh, I'm all static. <laughs> And the other way. Good. And then toes out, knees pointing out. Squat it down. Try and keep that back nice and flat. Pushing the knees wide. Squeeze at the top. Uh, 
And then I'm going to hold this one. And then elbows into knees and give them a little push. Straighten the legs out, tap. Over to one side and hold it. Think about sucking that belly button in, tilting the pelvis, and the opposite side. What are you doing? Just now, and then hands into the middle, and then we're just going to round, arch, round, arch, round, arch. Three and two and one. I am stiff. Feet wide. Turn to the side. Hips down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Straighten out that front leg. Soften the back knee and drop it down for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straighten out that front leg again. Drop those hips down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Straighten out the front leg, soften the back knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Push forwards, drop the knee, see if you can catch that back foot. Pull it towards you. And keep hold, kick it away. Straighten out that front leg. I've still missed the camera. <laughs> Twist to the middle. So we're trying to get this heel flat to start with. Knee pushed out to the side, hips back. Straighten the leg and turn the toes up. And then we're gonna come up onto these tippy toes. And then we're gonna try and lift this one for five. Ready? Go, one, two, three, four, Five, switch <coughs> sides, hips down. Oh wait, sorry, go back here. Skipped it. So heel is down, knee is out, toe is up. And then we're coming up onto the toes. And then we're gonna try and lift for five. Go, one, two, three, four, five. Now back to the hips, one, two, I really hope you have music on and you're not just listening to me going like oh, oh. four five six seven eight forwards one two three four five six seven the back knee one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push down, catch the foot, pull towards you. Keep hold, kick it away. And straighten out the front leg. Should have used the countdown timer, shouldn't I? For Mapping out the minute, that would work. <laughs> Circles. Oh no, wait, that's 30 seconds, isn't it? Try and think of ways to make your one minute of exercises more interesting. And the other way. Mm -hmm. Round the back. Arch. Round. Arch. Round. Arch. Stupid. Rib, tuck your toes, pedal. <coughs> and then we're gonna go plank. Big push through those shoulders. Back up, down dog. Plank. Down dog. Plank, and 
then we're going to drop the knees down and we're going to go into something called chaturanga. So um, bending the elbows, tucking them in towards your ribs and hold here. Uh, and then drop it down. Elbows under the shoulders, lift the chin. Chest pushing forwards, kick your bum. <coughs> and then we're going to do both. And then we're going to push up. <coughs> Okay, warm those wrists up. I need to sort my mat out because this is not working. <sighs> and then go the other way. I hope we had a good Easter anyway. Ate lots and lots and lots of chocolate, maybe? Well, lots of food in general. Bella had, um, did an Easter egg hunt with my sister's um, kids. So they found like, 40 odd like little mini lint bunnies and she's managed to find like 10 <laughs> um but it's just been munching them non-stop i gave her one and we went for a walk and like blinked and she inhaled it and the only reason i knew that she'd eaten it was because it was just everywhere <laughs> yeah kid is chocolate obsessed right so it's time first for the plank one okay so um if you can't remember what you did last time um think really really hard you want to try and match um what you did last time so it's an accurate test so if you did um you tried a, a full press up and you managed like two and then you got tired and you went to girly ones fine start in full press up see how many you can do and then carry on with girly ones um, but if you last time did all girlies, um, then I think I would be saying do all girlies again to see how many more you got. Unless you really want to see if you can do some full ones. And then obviously the next time you test it, you'd have something new to go off. Just how many full you did before you did the girly one. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so one minute, as many as you can do. She says one minute. Where has that little shit got my timer? I found it, I found it, it's all good, I got it. I got it. Bella likes to wander around and press this button. Okay, so one minute of as many correct form versions of the press ups that you did. Get into position. Are we ready? Off, oh, oh my hand hurts. We go guys. That's 20 seconds gone. And stop. <sighs> Got 27. <laughs> That's a whole two more than last time. Which normally would be really disappointing, but I don't feel well, so that's all right. <laughs> okay, so grab your blocks, unless you did it last time without blocks. I think I did this one against a wall. But we did it the last time. Um, I feel like I was against my drawers. So I'm going to do that again to make sure I'm not cheating. Um, so the next one is your leg lifts, um, which you may have done with or without a block. Um, 
So, bum, uh, scooching up so that you're against a wall, so that you're nice and tall, not rocking back too much. It's not the widest straddle you've ever done. It's also not your narrowest. Um, I've got a block on either side of my ankles um, and I was literally going like this. Yeah, so it was to see how many in a minute you can do um, on each leg. So d d one. Yeah, um, that didn't make sense, did it? That is one repetition. Yeah. Um, cool. Right, one minute of this bad boy. Ready? A steady. Go. halfway. Time to cramp. <laughs> Ooh, do you hear my hip? <laughs> but I think that's because I didn't move my hands last time. Uh, I did move my hands last time, I think. Okay, so you've got um, a little bit of rest time and then it's the worst one, um, tricep time. So if you last time did tricep dips with bent legs, um, again, try and repeat, so make it match. Um, if you, I can't remember what you did, don't worry about it, just have a try. So I think I did 24 of these with straight legs last time, which I don't think I've ever managed that again. I feel like it was a fluke for the first one. And then never again. Okay, so, put that against the wall. Are we ready guys? I'm gonna give you Another 30 seconds, just because I gave you 30 seconds before this exercise as a rest. 20 seconds to go. So I think this is the worst one. When this is done, she says, um, when this is done, it's all plain sailing. Okay, get ready. <laughs> Off. We go. Halfway. Seven. That's a whole three more. Yay! How are you doing? Anyone doing it with me? Tell me. Type me. Have we beaten the last ones? Are we the same? Are we worse? Please don't be worse. <laughs> that wouldn't reflect very well, would it? Um, okay, so the last one that we are doing um, of our strength test is your plank. So, <laughs> When we did, doing that, good, good. Um, when we did this last time, um, 
as part of the strength test. We did it for two minutes um, and then I stopped the timer, okay? So if you made it for the full two minutes, awesome. Um, if you didn't, doesn't matter. We're gonna do the same thing, but instead of me stopping at two, we're gonna go to three, okay? In case anybody did make it for the full two to see if we've progressed, okay? Now, if you didn't make it, the full two last time, or you don't make it the full three this time, that's not a problem. Just switch to an easier option. So if you're doing a full plank, drop to the knees, um, or have a rest when you can't go anymore. Double check what time you were on. Um, maybe I'll do like, I do 30 second count-ins usually. Yeah, if you have a timer or your phone handy right now, unless you're watching me on it, <laughs> Maybe I should just shout out every 10 seconds so that you can see where you got to. Um, but anyway, so if you can't manage the whole time, don't worry about it. Just have a rest and then try and rejoin, okay? Try not just to sit there. If you make it to a minute, try not just to sit there for the next two minutes, okay? Try and rejoin in and then just relax whenever you need to, okay? Right, so um, whichever variation you like. The last time I did this, I did 30 seconds on elbows, 30 seconds straight arms, I just kept alternating because I get really bored, um, which then tells me that I'm really tired. So that is what I will be doing. Um, you're welcome to join me if you would like, or you can just stay in one version, it's totally up to you. Right, um, so we're doing it for three minutes, but you're just seeing how long. So it doesn't, you don't have to do it for the full three minutes if last time two was hard enough. It's just I know some people now are managing the two minute holds and I don't want to stop if you didn't collapse. Yes, I want to see if we can find failure. Okay, <laughs> sorry, that was really positive there, wasn't it? Um, right, ready, steady, go. Oh. So with our plank, we're thinking about big push through the shoulders. Sucking the belly button in towards the spine, squeezing the bum, pushing through those toes. Heels are pushing together for me. Some people do this with their feet slightly apart. That's 15 seconds gone. Oh, this is a good start, I'm already shaky. Blame the tricep tips. Stupid, stupid triceps. And then, as I said, every 30 seconds I'm taking it down. So that's 30 seconds gone. That's 40 seconds. I'm just gonna keep counting it out in case any of you are um, stopping and need to know what you got to. That's 50, although it makes it worse, lasts longer. <laughs> and then we're going back up onto hands if we can. So that's one minute. Ooh. These already feel hard. 110. One twenty. I stayed in bed most of yesterday because I'm feeling like poo. That is where I may go after this. <laughs> and back down. So that's one thirty gone. Halfway. Forty. One fifty. And back up. That's two minutes. Good job, guys. Keep it going. That's 210. That's 220. And that's 230, last 30 seconds. <sighs> Two forty. Two 
250, last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Yay. I'm done, bye guys. Uh, all that shit I said about something else and then bum, I lied, I'm not doing it, I'm just gonna sleep. <sighs> awesome. Okay, so those were the four tests we did. I don't think there was any more. Um, so hopefully they've got a little bit better than last time. Um, if they haven't got better um, in terms of numbers, think about how you feel. So um, it's more relevant sometimes with flexibility stuff than it is with strength. But quite often we are so focused on measuring things sort of like numerically or visually that we don't think about actually how it feels within the body. So I know that's really hippie, but as in like sometimes your split might not actually look any lower, but you're more comfortable sitting there. So for me, the press ups, I only did two more than I did the first time, but bearing in mind that I don't feel particularly well, um, combined with how it actually felt within me, it felt quite nice. So I've definitely got stronger in them, even if the repetitions aren't there as, or, or a greater number of repetitions aren't there yet. Does that make sense? Because we're dealing with a minute as well. We're also not testing ourselves to um, failure with those because we're trying to get as many repetitions as we can in the, in the limited time. So where before you might have done 10 press ups and then died, you might now be able to do 20, but you need a bit longer because you're not doing them quicker yet. You've got more stamina, but not more power instantly, if that makes sense. Okay, so um, we're going to go on to, how have I got the time anywhere? I do on there, it's half past. Okay, so um, we're going to go on to, I was going to do this for 10 minutes, but I'm just going to do it for five, okay, as a finisher for all of that section, and then we'll go on to bum. Um, so you're going to do five press-ups, whatever version you want. Okay, you're going to do five leg lifts on each side. Um, you don't have to use a wall for it, so we're just going to go here. We're not going to bounce over a block either, we're just going to lift them up. Yeah? So five press-ups, technically it's then ten leg lifts. Then five tricep dips. Then five plank walkouts. So a plank walkout for me is from standing, hinge forwards walk out into that full plank position and then walk back up so that would be one yeah so five press ups five of each side leg lifts five tricep dips five plank walkouts as soon as you've done five of each start again okay if you need to take a rest at any point take it um i'm just going to put the timer for five minutes okay so we're just seeing how many of everything we can do. You don't have to count any of these either. You don't have to stay in the same version. So you can do full press ups, you can do girly press ups, whatever. Um, yeah, okay. So it's just a five minute push yourself as hard or as easy as you want, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? And it doesn't have to be in time with me. So just think five of everything, including five on each leg for like this. Okay, ready, steady, a go. So you're doing your five press-ups. Then you're going on to your five leg lifts on each leg. Then you're going on to your five tricep dips. And then your five plank walkouts. And then once you've done those, you're going back into your press ups. And 
And then after you press up, you're back into your five leg lift. That's a minute and a half gone. And then it was your tricep dips. So don't worry if you are going faster or slower than me. On two minutes. Nearly on three minutes. We can do it. I was gonna make you do this for 10 minutes. That would've been brutal, wouldn't it? for a minute left. <sighs> 45 seconds to go. I don't know if you actually did it, but good job to me. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you did it. Okay, so done with upper body um, arms. We're going just onto bum. So if you want a band, don't need the timer either. Um, if you want a band, grab one. Um, so I got some of you, I, I, I told it on one of the videos, I can't remember. I got a band and it's insane. This is how big it is in the first place. Can you see that? Okay. This is how strong it is. <laughs> that is as wide. Get them to go it's so hard but like if i try and actually squat then this knee rolls in because it's just not quite strong enough so my band is ridiculous but when i told 
my husband how ridiculous my overpriced band was. He was like, oh, mine's better. So he's had one this whole time, just hidden in the car, never getting used. Um, so I'm gonna use that. Um, now, if you are using the resistance band with a knot in it, or if you're using a rubber one, your leg will go way higher than mine will, okay? Um, when we did, it was on middle split day, I showed you that this is how high my legs go in a fire hydrant now. <laughs> that is it, yeah? Where hopefully yours are still coming up to hip height or slightly higher, okay? Um, so I'm gonna see how I go with this, and I might swap it back to my old, pingy, annoying, faithful one. Um, so, for this, I've gone really traditional on glutes because I think every time we've done it, I've done like a drop set or something to try and make it more interesting. So <laughs> we're just going for a lot now, okay? Um, so I've got one, two, three, five different exercises. We're gonna do 12 repetitions and then we're gonna try and do four sets depending if I have enough time, okay? So number one, oh, and we're gonna have minimum rest. So you'll get like 15 seconds between each exercise probably as we move around. But that's it. Um, so, glute bridge is number one. Um, so that's just really quickly. This one, so we're making sure that we tilt the pelvis under, that's so important, so that we're bracing through the um, core. Low back isn't then doing all the work, it should be the glute. So, tilt the pelvis, push the knees into your band, make sure the heels are about hip width, and then we drive up maintaining that tucked pelvis the whole time. So I'm never arching like this, always here, and then back down. So 12 of those, then we're going squat and sideways kick. So, <laughs> so we're going squat it down, lift it out, squat it down, lift it out. Okay, one, two, okay, so it's six on each side. Then we are going chair frogs, so we did this one of the last times as well, I think. So you're lying over it so that the um, hips are over the bend of the chair um, and you're just holding onto it here. Toes are together, knees are apart and pushing into your band and then you're squeezing and lifting up here. Yeah. Oh, this is hard with this band on. Um, and then we are going fire hydrants. So all fours trying not to shift the weight too much. And we're just taking it out like this. And then we're going for donkey kickbacks. I want these on the elbows instead, okay? So um, you'd kneel on your band, flex the foot that you can't see and lift here. Yeah, this should be more feeling like it's like middle and supporting side. Yeah, rather than the outside that we should have targeted a lot by now. Okay, so glute bridge first, squat kicks, um, froggies, fire hydrants, um, donkey kick. Four repetitions of each, you're gonna do it at the same time as me. Okay, so not too quick either. Right, are we ready? What time am I on? Oh, we're gonna have to go quick, we've got like 20 minutes. Okay, ow. Confused, lie down. <laughs> okay, so feet about hip width, knees are pushing into your band, tilt that pelvis, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Stand it up. So trying to get the feet a little bit wider than hip width, pushing into your band, squat it down, lift, down, two, down, three, down, try and have a pause, down. Five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12. Onto the chair. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fire hydrants. Ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Donkey kicks, kneel on your band, flex your foot. Oh, take it to the elbows as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Grab a drink, rest for a sec. Round two, I'm going to switch band. That band is going to kill me. Oh. And this one's going to piss me off. <laughs> I feel like you all know me too well now. Okay, are you ready? Round two, starting with those glute bridges. Off we go. One, push your knees into your band. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Stand it up and squat, kick. Ah, oh, that feels easier. Kick. <laughs> Three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <coughs> okay. Chat frogs, ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fire hydrants. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh, kneel on it. To the elbows. Flex. One, two, three, four, five, Six, go one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Good. Quick drink. What am I on? 45. We can fit this in. I've got time. Time for round three. Are we okay? Maybe? No. You're gonna take your silence out. This is a really fun nap. You should have done 10 rounds. Whew. Okay, are we ready? Round three, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, my bum is giving up on those. <laughs> Test it. We'll see. Squat. One. No. <laughs> it was not. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12. Um, I messed my band up. Chair frogs. I don't know what these are actually called. Diamond something. Maybe. Diamond leg raises. Ready. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <sighs> Fire hydrants, ready. Go, one, two, ah, uh, three, keep going, four, five, six, swap, one, two, three, four, five, six, knee on it, elbows, one, Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One round to go. Going back to my nasty one. Finisher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, last round. Are you ready, guys? We got this. So, heels close to your bum. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. This is the hard one with the silly band on. Ready? Oh, the squat's even hard. One. Two, look at my little nap knees. <laughs> Three, four, 
Come on, knees. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Holy crap. Twelve. <sighs> Stupid rolling in knees. <laughs> Chair frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Bye, hydrants. <laughs> Go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, kneel on the band, forearms, flex foot, one, two. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Good job. Grab a drink if you want, Mum. Um I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to take one leg and cross it over, set up really nice and tall, twist, good, I'm just going to pull this knee in towards my chest, so you might feel this, you might not, depends why you're tight in your bum. Then I'm going to rock the baby, so I'm rubbish at this. If yours looks completely different, don't worry. So you're trying to get this as high as possible. I'm trying to get your foot towards your elbow. And then you hold it. And then you sit up tall. I'm slouchy as hell right now. It's like a modified pigeon. Rock the baby. I'm going to swap. At the twist. Um, I'm just going to bring my knee in. Um, so I'm pulling it towards opposite boob. And then grab it. Sit up as tall as you can. And then we're just going to go arm across, make sure that shoulder is down, and switch. And move your elbow up, tuck those ribs back in, switch. Good, and then we're just gonna go on the hands behind the back, push the chest forwards, pull the hands up and away. Good, and then plant the hands down, keep the bum stuck up and just sink the armpits down. And then from here, try and bend those elbows. And then 
I'm just gonna grab a hold of the foot, pull it towards your bum. Um, if that was super easy, tilt the pelvis as much as you can, so sucking the belly button in. You might not feel this one if you're super bendy. If you have really loose quads. And flop. So just think about tucking the pelvis under as if you're pulling your belly button off the mat. Take a big deep breath in, and out. Deep breath in, and out. One more big deep breath in. <sighs> Good job, guys. Well done. Um, so if there's anything on you that still feels really tight, um, go ahead and stretch it out some more. I'm just very conscious that I'm going to run out of time in like a minute. Um, yeah. So go stretch whatever you need to stretch out. Um, um. Yeah, and make sure you record whatever your results were. Um, if you um, did better than last time, awesome. If you did the same, again, think about how it felt. Um, and if it got worse, then uh, pretend it didn't happen. <laughs> um, if you would take a sweaty selfie of yourself and uh, write your uh, results in it, that would be awesome so I can read them or message them to me if you don't want to do that. Um, you're very welcome guys so have a good rest of your day um, I'll see you tomorrow for splits and I'm going to try and get the um, workshop done tomorrow at this time when Bella should be having a nap um, so the workshop from yesterday was meant to be um, flow so it's um, optional to wear your heels or not and it was just basically rolling around on the floor so I'll get that videoed for you too and send it to all of those who were booked Cool beans. Right, see you tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye.